For everyone buying Sightlock stacks day one, here's a quick five minute rundown. I wanted to just do a quick five minute rundown of all the settings and all the stacks, what they do and all that. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Okay, so here is the demo file that ships with the site lock stacks, okay? Um, it's not really a beautiful page, it's just kind of a lot of the stacks thrown on there with a quick little example of how to use them, okay? Um, the first stack and the most important here, okay, is the site lock prefix stack. Um, this is gonna be added to pretty much every page that you wanna lock down with site lock, okay? Um, first off, I should say that the stacks don't install site lock for you. You still are responsible for doing all of that. Okay. So make sure you check out the site lock manual on how to download it and install it and, you know, set up the database and all that stuff. Okay. The stacks have nothing to do with that. Okay. It's purely integrating site lock into your rapid weaver projects. Okay. So here we go inside the site lock prefix this, um, by default, it is doing access control by group, which is probably what you're gonna have you know, going on. Here um, in this particular instance, we have it set to public and gold group can access this particular page. As you see here, you can have multiple groups, comma separated, okay? Um, and it will do that as well. Uh, you can uh, have users, again, you can have multiple users. So if you wanna lock down a particular page to particular users, you can do that as well. Um, I think groups are just the easier way to go because you can create groups, even if it's just one person in the group in the future. If you ever want to add a new person, it's really simple to do if you're using groups, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to skip get, skip this visibility preview really quick. We're going to go down to site lock imports. So if you're going to have a site lock form on the page, you want to make sure you import all the various libraries that we need. Okay. Basically what this site lock prefix stack does is depending on what you're importing here, okay, or what you're doing, it's it has to load things in particular orders, okay? So that's why these stacks are great because it handles all that for you. Because if you put import this before this, it'll break, right? So I figured all that out. I've worked with Adrian over at Vibrologics and got all the orders in terms of what's gonna order, you know, load in what order, and we're all good to go here, okay? Um. Remember, we're gonna come back to this site lock visibility preview in a little bit. Um, next up is the forms stack, okay? So in the form stack, uh, you're gonna go ahead and, now in site lock, there are multiple types of forms. So you have a login form, a registration form, an update profile form, and a contact form. So you're going to pick uh, whichever form that you've designed inside site lock, okay? So these are all forms that you've designed inside the site lock admin panel. Uh, define the type of form, and then you're gonna give it the form ID. So that's just a number. Uh, default, the login form is number five, okay? And by default, it's going to um, use the site lock styles that you've defined inside the site lock admin panel, okay? If you would prefer to use the styles from the theme that you're using, go ahead and check this box. And it will basically, it won't use any of these CSS or styles um, defined by site lock, and it will use the styles for forms that have been designed and embedded into your theme that you're using for Rapid Weaver. Okay, next up is the link stack. And this stack essentially allows you to have a download, a secured file download link from a file uploaded in site lock, right? So it'll make sure that, you know, whoever clicks on this particular button, it will only download the file if the user is authenticated to actually have that file, right? So really simple to use. Um, in the link stack, it's just a general drop zone. You can add any uh, button or link into it, okay? And essentially, you're gonna give it the file name of the file that you wanna download. And the important part here is you need to add a hashtag into your link. Okay, and what I mean by that is inside the button here, if we look at the link, okay, I've gone ahead and I just made the link a hashtag. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Um, basically, when you publish this online, that hashtag will be replaced with the special download link that comes from SiteLock, okay? Really simple to use. Next up is the logout stack. Again, another generic uh, you know, drag and drop box. You can add any button or link into it. Okay, and um, this particular one only has a setting for redirect to URL. And what that means is um, 
after the user clicks log out, do you want them to be redirected to a particular page? Maybe you want to redirect them to the home page or something of that nature, right? But any button or link added to this logout stack, okay, will be uh, tr will trigger the logout, okay? So you could just add any button, any link inside of this logout stack, and it will behave it, when it's clicked as a uh, logout functionality. Okay, and again, that redirect ability to redirect to a particular page after the logout has happened. Now, the last stack um, in the set right now is really cool. Um, this is called Visilock. And what this allows you to do is to display content based on if the user is logged in, um, if they're not logged in, um, and a bunch of other things, right? So let's look at the logic here. We could say display when, okay, um, let's turn off the else logic. So by default, the else logic isn't there and you can say display the content if the user is logged in, display if, if the user is not logged in, display if the user is a member of a particular group, is an active member of a group. Now remember active members is because um, users can expire their membership, right? So um, this, you can only display information if he's an active member, okay? Um, and then if he's a specific user. So if you want to, you know, do that, I think doing stuff on a specific user basis doesn't really make too much sense. I, I prefer using groups, but it, the ability is here. Okay. Now by default, it doesn't show else logic, but if we click this, it'll basically be, it'll add else logic to this. So basically if your, uh, logic is true, okay. Display this content else display other content. So in this particular instance, if the user is logged in, display this user is logged in, else display this user is not logged in, right? This could be useful for maybe displaying a login form, right? So if the user is logged in, don't display the form, maybe display hello user, okay? Um, and if the user is not logged in, display the login form. So um, it's just a very convenient stack that you're, I'm sure you're gonna use a lot of, okay? Well, I didn't time myself, but hopefully that was about five minutes, right? I, I went through every stack um, and the settings. As you see, it's really simple to use, okay? If you've ever used SiteLock before, this takes care of all the hard stuff, okay? All those quirky PHP snippets that you have to add to the prefix or the head or within your code somewhere, right? The stacks take care of all of it, okay? The, uh, the logout and the download link stuff is really cool because you can use whatever stack you want with it, right? Use your favorite button stack, okay? Cool stuff. Um, next up is the Visilock. Very cool. I think that is probably gonna be the most used stack uh, that you're gonna use, right? Displaying information based on if the user's logged in or logged out, things of that nature. So really cool stuff. I can't wait to get feedback in terms of how you're using this, okay? And I said in the intro video, right, that you probably watched that I'm really excited because this is gonna open up a lot of possibilities for people, right? Um, there are a lot of plugins for SiteLock. Um, eventually, over time, we'll be adding integrations with all of those as well, okay? So um, if you're using this, this should cover all the basics of getting SiteLock, boom, in your Weaver site, okay? Um, let me know if you're like, Hey, you know, I want this feature. I'm using this plugin really simple to, you know, add this, let me know quick wins of things that you would like to see the product, uh, do so that, you know, over time we can grow it to be an even more amazing plugin than what it is now. So, um, thank you. I hope you enjoy the site lock stacks and we will talk to you soon. Bye.